decision for uh, this part. Let's do it. Let's do it. Add to the stage, and we're going to start with the Atlanta Hawks. I like them. Um, You're going to notice a trend like pretty fast too. Okay. I this. I, uh, it would be kind of cool if the Southern hospitality made its way on to the Jersey. Mm. I would like that. I don't know. I'm assuming that font is significant somehow, but I like it though. I like it. I would have, again, I'm assuming the colors have some sort of like, there's a purpose for them. I, like maybe give that blue like a darker shade of the Hawks red. And I think that could look pretty cool unless there's a backstory behind the reason of it being blue. It is. And I was trying to scroll back up so we could see it. It's, it's something. Uh, the blue is the homage to 1968. Okay. Um, relentless pursuit. And again, I, I can't scroll up to read the whole thing. Ascension familiarity. No, I mean, look, is this like, you know, wow, we're running away with right. amazing. No, but it is a very good. I'm glad we're starting here. Yeah, this doesn't bother me. I wouldn't like rush out to buy one, but I would expect this to probably be somewhere middle of the pack by yeah. the end of the conversation. So there we go. We got the Atlanta Hawks decent start to the whole gimmick. Yeah. All right. So now we got the uh, the buzz cities here. It's hard for the Hornets to not make me smile, dude. Right. I mean, you, you start off with that color scheme, and it's it's already going to be. Yeah. It, it, they got a head start. Buzz City is a great nickname. Yeah. I love that. Um, gold up here a little different, yeah. But I like it, though. I like it. It fits well with the blues. And the contrasting blues or turquoise or variants of blues are always a nice touch. I like these. I like these. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't necessarily, okay, side panels resemble or exterior of a hornet's hive. I don't see the city connect aspect of this right. necessarily, but I do like it aesthetically. Yeah, again, it's it's one of these ones where aesthetically speaking, it's a good jersey, but w why is, I mean, other than the nickname being right. right, why is this a city connect? What about this is Charlotte, North Carolina? Put Ric Flair's face up there <laughs> and give him a stinger. I like their arena. We uh, saw Blink-182 there <clears throat> this year. Uh, I, it's a very cool arena. I would like to go. I was like having a very, very premature like look see at the Hornet Sixers tickets. Oh. Like very, very premature just to yeah. get an idea, you know. But so it's definitely on the radar because they're so close. And who doesn't look like when you grew up when you were our age and you remember the Hornets, I think you always kind of fuck with them. And yeah, and to that point, like it is very difficult for Charlotte just in general because they're at such a great starting point. Like just yeah. their regular stuff is top tier. Absolutely. So it's dude. like it's they're not gonna beat it. Yeah. So they're the best they can do is like supplement it nicely. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's what they've done here. Yeah, try too hard not to mess it up. Yeah. All right. So that's Charlotte the Hornets. And now we are going to the Heat Culture. So this is the, the, I feel like there's always a couple teams you really look forward to in these, right? Like in any sport, even in hockey with the reverse retros, the Heat are very much like a city edition every year. What are they going to do? I love the Heat culture thing. I do. It's very Heat. It's very Pat Riley. I feel kind of bratty that I demand vice colors here, though. You know? Yeah. Um, I do like it. I just, the Heat being so small. It hits my eye weird, and there's something about the the culture text. While I like it, it's I feel like you could have maybe done that in the font that Miami is typically in, mm -hmm. in the cursive kind of graffiti deal. If you do that, I like it a lot more. But I do like this. I love this. Is why I love doing this show because this was bottom of the barrel for me, and like hearing another take on it i would love to see this in vice colors dude yeah because i think that is one of the th it, it what makes it feel so boring and safe to me is it's not that far off from what they normally wear it's heat colors right, right. typical heat colors so like maybe if they do this in a different color you know they, they go bold with the right. color maybe i'm i'm more buying it i mean heat culture doesn't bother me but like the way 
to your point, like the the font that they've done it in feels kind of boring and yeah, too big. This feels like a practice get it gimmick kind of. Yeah, you know, I mean, I like it. It's just I feel like there could have been more done here to make it feel more Miami. They usually go over the top in these to make you like to smack you in the face with Miami. Right. And I feel like they didn't here. They just kind of played it safe. Again, this is one where it's like this in a vacuum. It's not a terrible jersey, but like, right as a city connect yeah exactly that feels more like a team connect yeah yeah or a team edition right so uh, all right there's uh, the miami heat and now we got the orlando magic i kind of like this in a weird way um gothic style script yeah um mountains or maintains the protecting our kingdom um i like it I, again, what's the city right. element though? It's as a jersey, it looks fine. I have no issues with it. I just, what about this is Orlando outside of the Orlando Magic? Mm -hmm. You and know, you hit on it immediately. This one is, I honestly, if this was their regular getups now, I'd be like, absolutely, thumbs up. This yeah. is cool. I like as a jersey. This is top notch. This right. is top tier. I like. I it a like lot. it, dude. But as a city connect. Where are we at? It, it makes me, you know, I, I kind of go back to like those orange ones that we were kind of running down a couple years ago. It's like, <laughs> well, at least that was Citrus. the city. Yeah. yeah, at least they played to the element, even if it was kind of lazy. There was an effort there. This is a very cool jersey that yeah. just doesn't fit what city edition is to me. It's not. It's definitely not. It looks fine, but just call it an alternate. Yeah you know i'll take it yeah exactly <laughs> all right so that's orlando and then we've got the washington wizards i'm very curious what you think on this one so first impressions are i like it be i think it's because it is so odd to compared to this feels like a city edition for better or worse it feels like a city edition whereas i think the other ones so far really haven't um I don't know DC that well, so I can't look at it and identify, yeah, this is what it is. I mean, okay, there's the print utilized in the 1700s. I get that. I like these. The colors feel very like Fiesta Spurs. Mm. Um, I'd like to see these in practice before I make a final judgment, though. Because I, get that, yeah. I feel like these are ones that like look really cool to me here, but seeing them on the court might be like, oof. Crazily enough, I feel like we're in pretty much lockstep here. My first impression was like, oh, wow, they did something. Right, outside the lines. Cool. Um, and I, I think I still want to stick to that. I, the few criticisms I have is it, it feels like district is too small. The yes. numbers are too small. Like, bring that down a little. and and, and The swoosh, the yeah. Blazers gimmick, exactly. I think we're on to something. Again, I, yeah. I, I think to be able to fully appreciate it i do need to see it on somebody yeah because you want to see what the court looks like too that's part of this too it kind of ties in everything all together because you get a different court the different floor with these as well but i agree if you move that slant down a little bit and make the numbers in the district bigger i like that the the piping on the sleeve like changes color yeah that it fades from kind of like that bronze to the blue i like that it says boundary stones fencing color so that's i mean it, they took a swing yeah and it, it, you know again i don't know how this ties to the city itself but i applaud the swing yeah at least it has something to do with the the district yeah. as opposed to hey here's just what we wear in different colors so as far that does it for the southeast division these five like how do you rank them i think i go i think i go whiz one mm. um Man, see, that's the thing. Okay, give me Charlotte, too, because it's hard for me to bump a Charlotte gimmick. <laughs> I think I would then go Heat Culture 3. Um, You know what? No. Yeah, Heat Culture 3, Orlando, and then Atlanta. Isn't it wild? Like, Atlanta was a, a solid start, but it is definitely. It, it just kind of fades down. Yeah. And it's not like I love any of the other ones. I just, I credit the Wizards for at least 
that feels like a city edition to me. The other mm-hmm. ones just feel like alternates, which is fine, but it's not what you're supposed to be going for here. Right. And again, you know, you'll notice like the one thing about all of these teams minus the whiz is their normal getups are really good. Right. Right. 